Okay, okay, guys. Do you guys know who this guy is? Sorry, let me talk over. Okay, guys. Do you know who this freaking guy is? It's the guy that goes around getting stunned all the time. Uh, he's like most famous for getting stunned by uh, a bullet ant, which is known to be the most hurting sting in the world. In this video, he's getting stunned by a quote unquote cow killer. That's There's no happen. question about it. The Wild West is rough and rugged. And whether you're talking about the rocky terrain, Yeehaw, laced with spine-covered plants, or its animals, most of which are armed with fangs and sticks. Wait, what? It has double fangs. I never know that before. Is that normal for all snakes? To have double uh, fangs? Can't the reasons? A goat, for real. No, it's a human. Ha ha ha. Fingers. Arizona's Sonoran Desert is an adventure lover's playground. Sure, we all have our fears of being Too bitten by Arizona. a rattlesnake when venturing off trail. Or in my case, having a giant desert centipede run by Camp Lake. But in actuality, the good news is that? is that each and every one of these creatures bro, the does its you, best bro? to avoid human interaction. Why is it only you, However, bro? sometimes you have an accidental run-in. And when oh, thank you, you do, God. a bite or a sting can be incredibly painful. <sighs> in that, where did he get stung? Where did he get stung? A bite or a sting can be incredibly painful. Yo, Pulse. No wonder he retired. No wonder he retired. <sighs> yeah, he got me. He bit me. For sure. Yeah, he definitely bit me. No wonder When it he comes retired. to my line of work, the goal no is wonder. to have an interaction so that I can show you the effects of these encounters. This way, we can all learn why it's important to be in tune with our surroundings For and why, why it's would always do best this, to admire animals. But, why is it like, oh, we're gonna learn? I think you already learned this. I think we already knew. We already knew the days are like super painful. Like, what do you mean you have to learn this? What are we learning? We already knew they were dangerous and painful and disgusting. Like, you know what? Maybe this time a little bit different. Like, what do you mean? From a safe distance. <laughs> what do you mean? He's like, look, this this animal, this insect stinks so hard it's known to make cows like die just from the pain. Anyways, I wonder what it feels. Do that log. Like, what? Back, huh? Yes, hold on. No, he's underneath the log. Yeah, I just started to tip it. I started respect, ran back. Hold on a second. I'm so oh, I saw him. Did you see it? He ducked out, ducked back in. There it is. There it is. Get him, get him, Bill. Who is that? Ah! Yes! Yes! Look at that! Whoa! <laughs> what is that? Oh, he almost got into the crevice it of that log. fly. Wow, that is a good size one too. Uh, but we got our velvet Vel ant. Velvet There ant. it is. Okay, cool. Well, tomorrow morning, I'm gonna get stung by that little ornery bugger. Cool. The velvet ant, which is actually a species of ground wasp and not an ant at all, claims a famous nickname. What? I'm ground wasp? What does that mean? I thought wasp flew. The cow killer. Ranked on the insect sting the pain index killer. as being the fourth most painful sting in the insect kingdom, rumor has it that the pain is so intense it can kill a cow. You may be looking at this thinking to yourself, Coyote, are you going to get stung? Yeah. I am. I'm going to get stung no, by this today. Now, the insect sting pain You're index sick. says that the intense pain will last for about 30 minutes. Uh, and the reason that I'm doing it is to work my way up to the bullet. This brick gives the meanest bite. It'll make you sh** yourself for the next next three days. I'm not tickled as not. I'm not a bite, man. You want to see me stung by the bullet? Ant? <laughs> Why? I kind of feel like I have to get stung by everything else leading up to that. I am not looking forward to 30 minutes of pain that's going to come from this insect. I know. Right? Here we go again. Coyote is about to enter the strike <laughs> Here zone. We go again. But this one's a little different when it comes to alligator bites, crab no. pinches, or blood sucking. Dude, I'm, so I'm so scared of the crab pinches. I, I feel like you just break your finger if they're big enough. Leeches. Like, just like break I'm fine with that. Finger. When it comes to stingers and venom, that's where even I get nervous. Now, the females do not have wings. The males do have wings, but what's interesting is that the males do not have stingers. Guess who does have a stinger? That's right, the females. And that's what we have here today. Now, one of the most impressive right. things about this insect 
is the size of its stinger. In fact, it's about as long as the entire length of the abdomen. What I want to do now is use what? these little entomology forceps to pick the velvet ant up and show you guys just how big that stinger is. You ready for this? Yeah. Are they delicate? Um, they are not. The velvet ant actually has a very, very durable exoskeleton, one of the toughest exoskeletons in the insect kingdom. Imagine so me picking away. her up with the forceps is not going to cause her any sort of pain. Okay, imagine she runs away and it's lost. Oh. 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 Got it. Got it. Got it. Hold it. <laughs> now they can be found in the grass. So if you're out there walking around barefoot and you step on one of these, you're not going to squish it. What's going to happen is it's going to spin around and then it's going to tuck its abdomen under and boom, you're going to get nailed. Oh my god, look how long it is. What? Look how long it is. What? Damn. You're going to get nailed with that giant stinger. Sniper. Well, I think at this juncture, look at the it's time for me to actually take a sting. Are you guys getting nervous? I'll tell you what, I sure was. Now they say that this sting is painful enough to kill a cow. However, there are no reported cases of cows, or humans for that matter, ever dying from a velvet ant sting. This makes me feel a bit better, but you never know how your body will react to venom. So we always have an epinephrine pen on location, just in case I have an allergic reaction to the sting. All right, Mark's signaling me that it is time here we go. I'm about to be stung. It's time, sting boy. By the velvet ant. Here we go. All right, Coyote. Well, it's about that time. Yeah. How are we going to pull this off? I see we have a, you know, camera-wise, we have a GoPro, small camera right next to me. It's going to be, oh, hey, there's it's gonna be like fucking Chance variety there. of pain. It's going to be a little bit of rolling around. What's the for the sting in here? What's, what's the idea? It's gonna well, be rolling this is going to go then. down one of two ways. What I'm going to try first is to actually take this little glass flip it upside down, get the ant to this end, and then place it down on top of my arm. This will isolate the ant on my skin, and I'm hoping that as it tries to get away, it's just going to sting me. Now, if that doesn't work, I also have my pair of entomology forceps, and I'm actually going to pick up, hold the ant, place <laughs> it on my arm, and let it sting me. Full size One way or another, I am definitely going to be stung by the velvet ant. What's up, Tater? <sighs> Here we go, okay. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is Scuffle. get the ant up into that part of the glass, and then I'm going to spin this over onto my forearm, and with any luck, the ant is going to sting me. Here we go, ready? Let's do that it. That sounds like a bad luck to be I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the sting like zone luck. with the velvet ant. One, oh. two, here we go, no, no, three. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Oh boy. Oh, my heart's racing right now. Oh boy, I can see it's like a kind million. Of my heart a is going million now. Any heart rate right now. Happen. Yeah, any second it could sting Bro. me. Oh boy, ooh, ooh, ooh. Ow, 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 it's biting at my skin. It's biting at the edge of the container, trying to get out. Oh, you're not supposed to bite, oh, and that stinger is going to be like a little hypodermic bite, needle going into my skin. <sighs> this is intense. Just do it, do it! The uh, glass is actually starting to get a little do foggy it! from the heat of my skin. So at this point, I think we're going to move to plan B, which is holding the velvet oh, ant no. with the entomology forceps. I don't think it's going to sting me at this point. It's shaking. It's been in there for about two minutes. I at the other And so far, too. no sting. It's just trying to get out. So I'm gonna flip my arm upside down and get the ant back under control. Okay, here we go, ready? Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Ooh. Ah, <laughs> they got you shaking too, feel. man. Ah. Bro, dude, that's gonna be that's a like break you, bro. You like you're doing something super scary and you're waiting, 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 and it's not happening, bro. Just sting me, sting me, get it over with, sting me, do it. Extremely nervous and my heart is racing. I actually think I it's do like have Rorschach. to take a second just to do it. get my heart rate to calm back down. Okay, cutting GoPro. <laughs> okay. All right, so the only way to actually move forward with this like, is for me to hold the ant so with the entomology forceps up against my skin and let it sting me. Dude, this seems, this is gonna do it, isn't it? Yeah, hold on, I need a second. My heart's like, right. ooh, getting dizzy. Yeah, getting dizzy. He's gonna have like a throat. In the world of entomology, when it comes to milking the venom of insects and arachnids, <laughs> I, 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 
Rosal died early from just the stress. Where do you think his hair went? Where do you think his hair went? He used to have thick, luscious, flowing locks. Then he started this channel. Look at him now. It's holding them with forceps is a guaranteed <laughs> way to induce a sting. So I think we all up. know what's <laughs> going to happen next. This is crazy, guys. This is crazy. Uh, my nerves <laughs> are going crazy. this much for the velvet ant. I can't imagine what the uh, tarantula hawk and the bullet ant are going to be like. Okay. I can't, I can't believe you're about to do this. That stinger is enormous. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you can do this. You can do this. Bro. Okay. Is that stinger going to go all the way under your skin? Who yeah, it's going to go bro. right into my skin. Yeah, okay, I'm ready. Oh, boy. <laughs> the stinger is so long as we hit the bone. Imagine. All right, here we go. Here you go, ready? All right, let's do this again one more time for good measure. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with the cow killer. Are you ready? Are you ready? No, I'm never ready. One, <laughs> two, three. You good? Yeah. Get your shot. Place it right down on my arm. Here we go. My arm shaking. And go. Go. Ah! Oh, oh no. no! Oh no, no, no. Okay, let me get back here. You alright? What are you feeling? Go! Oh wow. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> He's fucking dying. G give me a second. Oh my gosh. You alright? Oh yeah. What are you feeling? What does it feel like? <laughs> give me a second. Give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> Is he okay? <laughs> he might not be okay, guys. Oh my gosh, guys, this is super bad. Oh, no. Move this out of the way. Oh, oh. Alright, only 20 minutes, only 20 minutes, and 40 minutes in his life. Hold on, I've got to try to control my heart rate. Don't worry. Try to get a touch shot right there. Only the 20 minutes, and 40 minutes, and 40 minutes left. Okay, try to get a shot, because I can get him to like, walk around for a second. I'm right there. Right there, it's our sunny. It's our sunny. I could feel it. It was like, um... <laughs> <laughs> you could feel it go all the way Can under. I try and mint the two face? All the way in. I could Real. feel it insert into my arm. Oh. <laughs> be all right? It looks like nothing. Okay. It's like you can't see anything. And now they say that the sting of the velvet ant will last for about 30 minutes. And I can tell you guys right now, this is the worst sting I've ever taken. There's no question about it. <laughs> It is worse than a oh horse ant. It is worse than a fire ant. It feels like I'm getting stung over and over again. You can see the welt starting to form on my arm. Oh, oh man, yeah, there's a welt big time. Describe the pain. Is it, is it like a pulsating pain? Stabbing the pain, pain, it's radiating. It is radiating. It feels like, um, you know, if you get a Charlie horse in your muscle and it like seizes up and then it's like, doof, doof. Oh, that is powerful. I can see why they call them cow killers. Uh, <laughs> oh, that is some intense pain right there. How long has it been? About, about seven minutes. Seven minutes? Uh, they say this the pain from this lasts for about 30. Uh, about 23 minutes to go, guys. 23 minutes to go. Uh! Now, aside from working my way up to the bullet ant, the reason I was willing to take a sting from this insect was so that we could all see the effects of the venom. 25 minutes has gone by. Uh, my arm is still on fire. Bro. And what's crazy is He's that struggling, man. look at all the red blotching that's He's formed around man. the sting. There's the stinger insertion point right there. And it is swollen Jesus. and it is very tender. And you can see how Jesus. red the entire radius is of the sting. I'm sweating. Uh, my goal was to do the best I could to describe the pain I was feeling. And it, it still hurts. It definitely still hurts, but not as bad Ooh, as the like initial uh, impact of the stinger. But what's interesting is that all around the sting, 
is tingling. What I look like, look like, like after exactly one second of one thunder. And as you can see, there's all these little red dots forming, and I'm assuming that is where the venom is spreading into my arm. Oh wow! Well, I would say that this was definitely one very <laughs> like intense triangle. sting. The cow Jesus killer Christ. has earned its reputation as being one of the most powerful stings in the insect kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> And while it may be ranked as a four Ooh, on the insect sting I... pain index, for me, at this point, it's definitely number one. I'd say I'm one step closer to being stung by the bullet ant, but first, I'm gonna have to go up against the tarantula hawk. I have a feeling that that one that is going to be it, bad. Yeah. I'm Coyote Peterson. Now you gotta eat be it, brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Woo, let's get out of the desert. The Holy shit, it's wide though. Why though? It's super long. It's grossly long, bruh. What a freak. Would any of you guys, how much would how much would you have to be paid to do this? How much would you have to be paid to do this? Beat it ass. How much? How many monies? How many monies paid for you to do this? Two hundred thousand dollars? Shut the fuck up. Two hundred K is crazy. That's way too much, man. That's way too much. You're telling me if I came to you with fifty thousand dollars, okay, to get the thing by this bee. You'd say no? Come on, bruh. Be real. <laughs> A troll pack of Lagunitas. Maximum Epos. Hey, there we go. See, that, that's realistic. You, co you come to Ochi, add a troll pack, and a trench the hook. What do you say? <laughs>